We're on Windows Blue 8.1. I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN connection to another location. So just go ahead from the desktop, click on the new Windows button. And then from here, we want to go to the Network and Sharing Center. So we're going to get to the Control Panel. So scroll over here, click on Control Panel. Click on the Network and Sharing Center. And then from here, click on Set Up a New Connection or Network. Click Connect to a Workplace. Choose VPN. And we'll set up an internet connection later. There's no internet connection on this particular box. And we'll just go ahead and type in the uh, name of the VPN server. We'll just call it vpnoffice.test.com. It could be an IP address, could be a name. And then you may want to have this as a name. We'll call it Office VPN so you understand what it is when you look at it. So you can click the make sure the remember my credentials is checked. You can also allow other people to connect if you want. Smart card if you have it. Go ahead and click create. Now since we're not able to connect, we're not actually going to get there, but we can go into the properties. So if you right click on the connection, then you can go ahead and go into the properties of this and make some changes. So we'll go ahead and click on Change Adapter Settings. And there's our Office VPN. Right click, go to Properties. And then from here, you can change this where it says Automatic Type, type of VPN Automatic. You can change it to more specific PPTP, L2TP, SSTP, or Ike version 2. That will allow you to connect much faster than if you just do automatic as it scrolls through each one, one at a time. You can also go into networking, double click on TCP IP version 4, click on advanced, and you want to uncheck use default gateway on remote network. Otherwise, all traffic, including internet traffic, will go through the VPN tunnel, which will slow you down. Next thing you want to do is go to DNS and click and add the DNS server that's on the other end of this connection. That way you can resolve names to IP addresses for the computers and servers on the other end. When you're done, you can click OK. You may want to register the connection DNS so you also get a host record on the DNS server at the destination. And then click OK and click OK. Click OK one more time. Now if we double click on it, the box pops back up and from here we can connect.